So John's now saying to James, the reason is that I have that duty assigned to me. And as Helen has told you, I have taught her to perform this duty and she is now engaged in it and is most successful in the performance of her mission. <laughs> she seems to have a wonderful ability, or you might call it intuition, for locating the soulmates in the spirit world, as she never fails when she undertakes to find one. She also finds great happiness in doing this work and in seeing the happiness that comes to them who ask her to perform this task. I do not engage with it with so much enthusiasm as she does, but I do the best that I can, and I am rewarded also by seeing the happiness of those soulmates when they are brought together. <laughs> yeah. So that's really an illustration of what we've just been talking about. Isn't yeah, it? The, um, it, it's quite obvious that he was assigned the task in order to open him up to the concept of soulmates. And while it opened him up intellectually to the concept of soulmates, he still emotionally did not become open at this point in time to the concept. Later in the messages, you see him starting to open up to the concept, but um, at this point in time, he's still quite close to the concept of his own soulmate. Yeah. And, uh, and Helen, not having those limitations, can easily trace soulmates as a result. Because she, her heart's open, she's got this intuition, as he calls it. And it also really follows just... the feelings that she can feel coming from one person towards another. Well, that's what I mean. It's mm. not really an intuition, it's that sense that she has, isn't yeah, it? That's yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. Um, so, do you want to read the next paragraph? Sure. No, not if they are not assigned to do this work. So the question Paget asked there was, are, is, is any, everyone, everyone assigned to do this? If, can anybody do this work or will every, you know, does everyone, do, does everyone so. do this work? No, not if they are not assigned to do this work. This is one of the provisions of the spiritual world that each person has some work of a certain kind or several kinds to do. And in that way are helped by the higher powers, or as we believe, the love of God to perform. A spirit who is assigned to do a particular work, such as helping the spirit when it first enters the spirit world, will not attempt to engage in other work of a wholly different kind. What John Paget didn't realise at this point was that many of the assignments that were made by higher spirits of these particular jobs are all to confront certain emotional blockages that the person has yeah. in performing a certain type of work. And so many of the assignments uh, are like that. So the assignment, if you receive an assignment in the spirit world of performing the work of, a, of, a, of looking for soulmates, there'll either be two di different emotions of that usually present within you. One will be that you were totally blocked to your soulmate. Mm -hmm. And so they give you this assignment. Two is that you're totally open to your soulmate and you love the work. Yep. And they give you that assignment because of the, the, the desire in you for the, for the work. And the same applies pretty much to every job that's assigned or every work that's assigned in the spirit world. It's either there to help confront something inside of the person emotionally or as a response to their passionate desire to do the work. Yeah, mm. yeah, lovely. Mm. Yes, as to attempting to awaken a spirit to a conception of the love of God that is waiting for it, all spirits may do this. And when a spirit succeeds in causing a darkened or blinded spirit to feel or realise that God's love is waiting for it, then the spirit who has caused that awakening is most happy. Hmm. So the question Paget asked was, what about receiving the love of God? Can anybody teach about yeah. that? Yeah. And of course everybody can. Yeah. 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 Um, if I continue, the next comment is interesting. Mm. Of course, it is only the spirit who has had that awakening himself who can cause or lead another spirit to that desire for spiritual enlightenment that will finally cause it to get this love to his full and complete happiness. I'm not yet in a condition to be fully able to do this with much success, but your grandmother and mother are very powerful in this particular and they are the cause of many spirits becoming reconciled to God and his salvation. Mm. Which I find that very beautiful, just um, obviously that, you know, that spirits are doing this with success. Mm. But um, this idea that it's only the, the person who has actually really received a lot of God's love, mm. who's able to inspire this true desire in in mm. other people and it's I feel very much the case here on earth as well 
Very much so. It's it, an intellectual understanding of divine truth will almost result in nobody at all listening to a single word you say. And this is why many people who study the pageant messages on earth do not have much success in sharing them, mm -hmm. because they actually only have an intellectual understanding of the messages themselves. If the person has a complete heart-based, soul-based understanding of the message and actually is applying it in their own life, then, then people will just be automatically attracted to them to listen to what they have to say. Hundreds of people, eventually thousands of people, will all be you know, listening to what has to be said because the person's light is shining to everyone. And the same applies in the spirit world. There are spirits who intellectually understand the divine truth and yet uh, have a very lot of uh, much trouble uh, getting their own progression even to occur properly. But they also have a lot of difficulty in sharing the divine truth with others because they've yet to receive a lot of divine love themselves. And they are also yet to fully, fully understand from the soul level what it all means. Mm -hmm. And so they can only intellectually share. And this is one of the major reasons why the information from the Paget messages over the last hundred years hasn't taken much of a foothold on earth because most of the people who are reading it are only reading it from an intellectual perspective and they're not understanding the soul-based truths that are present in there or changing at the soul level. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, that, they are incapable of sharing it with others or even generate, helping generate a desire in others to receive it from them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a, it's a very important point, I feel. And even for myself, mm -hmm. like, you know, I reflect a lot on that. If, if I want to inspire others to know God, I have to know God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and if you want to inspire others to understand the truth, you've got to understand the truth. Yeah. And if you want to inspire others to develop their soul, you've got to have a developed soul. And if you want to inspire others to love, you've got to understand and feel love, yeah. not just talk about it. You need yeah. to feel it. Yeah. And people need to be able to feel it from you. Yeah. If you want to you know, inspire others in any direction, if you think about it, there needs to be a passion in your soul for that particular direction, not just an intellectual understanding of it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So you see, the one great thing to obtain, either while on earth or after you come here, is the great awakening of and love of God in your own heart. It is of all things necessary the greatest. I know to a considerable degree what it means and the happiness that comes from it. But I am not satisfied and am striving to obtain more of this love and to rise higher in the kingdom of God. So you must try also, for you need not wait until you come over. Mm.